Never in the history of Canada has a government changed an election midstream. Never have they put our democratic rights at risk. Never have they told a city as bright, beautiful, and powerful as this one that it does not matter. Do we agree with them? No! Are we going to fight back? Yes! Is this Doug Ford city? Yes! Is it your city? Yes! That's right. You know, some of you may know that other uh, mayors across the country are also weighing in on what's happening here in Toronto because they know that if this is allowed to hold in our city, in our province, then it puts at risk every democratically elected municipal council across the country. It is a shameful, shameful power grab. It is about consolidating power in the Premier's office to try to control what happens in the city of Toronto. Totally unacceptable. Totally, totally shameful. So, we are going to do our best to fight, as I said, and you are going to do your best to fight as well. And in, in no uncertain terms will we show Mr. Ford that we actually value our democracy. We actually believe in democracy and we believe that people have a right to make decisions about how they are governed. That it should not be the edict or the dictate of one single human being to determine how our democracy functions. That is up to all of us and we will fight and fight again to make sure that we maintain that right and that principle, that underlying fundamental principle of our democracy. Together we'll fight, together we'll push back make sure that in no uncertain terms that this premier has a very short-lived time at Yay! Queen's Park. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you, Andrew. Let's, give it, let's hear it for Andrew again. I think we're at being around now.
Hill's decision to slash our city council. In the days to come, we're going to find the names of the six councillors.